What's going on, guys? Sitting here in a in a hotel room. I mean, a hotel room is a lot. I, I travel. I just don't like staying in one place. Uh, some of those places I travel turn it into some business opportunities. But uh, I just have learned in life that you get out and you experience, and you're always putting putting things in different experiences, and you can put a lot out. So that's just me. But today, what I want to talk about today is a controversial post that I put up. And the, the post went like this. Do poor people have poor thoughts? Some people became very upset about that. Let me turn this air condition down. Now, I think the reason why a lot of people become upset about things, which I actually like those moments because that shows that something internally is working. Something internally is going on that is challenging their thoughts. Now, let me explain why I say what I say. Now, before I get into it, I believe that we are our thoughts. If you don't believe that you can be a fit guy, you're not going to be it. You're going to go to the gym. You're not going to have a workout plan. You're not going to be consistent in your diet. You're not even going to research a diet because in your mind, you think you can't be that dude. So you're not going to behave like that. You're not going to get up at five in the morning and do sprints with someone. You're not going to sign up for that 5K. You're not going to do cardio at an intense level where you, you're going to, you feel like you're going to fly off the freaking treadmill because you are going that hard. Because you don't believe that you can be that fit dude or that fit girl, lady, or whatever. There, there has to come a time where we have to understand that your thoughts are probably one of the the reasons why you are successful or you're not successful. This is why some people say that some people who are wealthy are cocky. A lot of times they are because cocky, you know, kind of can be a bad behavior. If you're bragging like, what are you guys doing? You know, that's bad behavior. But you have to have somewhat of confidence. You know, I've sat in circles with people and... They're sitting around like, you know, you know, talking about things like dream, uh, dream talking. Oh, somebody should do this and somebody should create this and somebody says. And I've, I've actually sat in one where somebody was like, I come up. That's my gift. I can come up with so many ideas. So then I asked the challenging question that somehow some people think is confrontation, but you just ask an honest question. So when are you going to take one of those thoughts and put them to work? What are you talking about? Just what I said. We can sit here and talk about thoughts all day long. Like right now, I'm talking to you on a camera, Samsung. Somebody thought that I need to create a product that captures the moment of what someone is saying. And they followed out that thought and they actually created a physical product. And Samsung is a, a global company today. But if that was just a thought, somebody should create something where you capture the moment, whatever. Nah. YouTube was created by some guys, and I think they were at a party, and they, they had a conversation about somebody should create a platform where people can share their videos. They took action. So when I say poor people have poor thoughts, first of all, go where poor people are. Because I've talked to a few of them. I've been on YouTube for years. You know, I get I have to hide to get on Facebook. Because as soon as I get on Facebook, just today, somebody said, hey, I got a question for you. And usually those questions are long questions. And I, and I try to answer questions as much as possible. Now, if you are the same person that's continuing to ask questions, then I say, well, hey, you need coaching. But if you're a new person, you ask one or two questions, this is fine. But what I'm saying is, is that... When you talk to these people and they start laying out what they want to do, let's say, for instance, they want to, one of the hardest things uh, for people to do is make a video. You say you want to help people. You want to put yourself out there as a thing. OK, make a video. Uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm nervous. I can't talk on the camera. Well, you can't be in that space. 
if you don't have uh, the cojones to actually take that thought and put into action, you, you're, you're fooling yourself. And that's not uh, being mean or anything like that. That's being truthful. Like right now, the, talk, the clock is ticking. Time is going. You don't have a lifetime to do what you want to do in life. There are kids that are in children's hospitals that are dying. And some people say, oh my gosh, they weren't meant, they, they can't fulfill a dream. How do you know that their mission in life was to fulfill a dream? Right? You only get in life what you put into it. So when you go to all the places where poor people may live, ghettos, and, and, and also, uh, you know, trailer parks, and, and this is not the only place they live. Some poor people are middle class people. You have the conversation with them and you find out they have limiting thoughts. I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm afraid of this. I can't do this because this, 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 this has to take place in order for me to do this or this is an obstacle. What I can't do it. Limiting thoughts. So if you sat with them and deleted all those thoughts, nope, you can't do this. That's not true. Boom. Okay. Uh, but I'm a, I'm a black man. You know, and in a white man's society, so I can't do it. Nope, that's not true. If you create a product and you uh, put a patent behind it, if you create a product that solves a problem and you focus on different niches and this is how you market it, whatever, it doesn't care if you're a Jewish kid, if you are an 80 year old um, kid with no arms, it doesn't make a difference. You can do it. Okay, well, well, what about such and such? Limiting thoughts. That's all it is. Limiting thoughts. You delete those limiting thoughts you have and learn, and here, here this one, how to do something and be scared as crap while you're doing it. I've been in situations where I thought I was going to pass out. And the only reason I thought I was going to pass out is because I thought I couldn't handle the certain situation that I was in. But I didn't have enough information to understand that what I was facing at that time, I shouldn't have been afraid of anyway. That was it. Limiting thoughts. So here's my challenge to you. I want you to find somebody who is poor. Or if you put yourself in that category, ask yourself, what am I doing? Or take a sheet of paper. What am I doing that is stopping me from doing what I want to do in life? What thoughts am I having? Do you think you can do it? Do you think you're smart enough? You, gotta, you guys have to understand this. A kid that thinks he's not smart would not apply for Harvard. Even if everybody else thought he was smart. If he don't think he's smart, he's not going to apply for it. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. Let's start a dialogue. Let's start a conversation about it. You know, let's see what goes. If you don't think that I'm, I don't have any um, facts or anything, let me know that too. You know, I, I don't, I don't think we should agree on everything, but uh, that's my, that's my thought, and I'm sticking to it. So with that said, guys, thank you, and until next time, signing off. <laughs>